There are five species of rhino alive today, and these animals differ in shape, size and behaviour. Unfortunately, rhinos have been struggling over the past few hundred years, and this is mostly due down to poaching and loss of habitat. This really is a shame as they are arguably the most mysterious group of megafauna on this planet, but hopefully we can help them to bounce back in the future. In today's video, I will be going through all five species of rhino, and I will be ranking them from smallest to largest. I will be judging the rhinos on their maximum size, and without further ado we can take a look at our first species. The Sumatran rhino is one of the rarest rhinos alive today, and it is one of the more distinctive species. It has some physical features that other rhinos don't, such as long hair and a splash of colour. The Sumatran rhino's hide tends to be a dark red-brown colour, and it has patches of short, stiff hair. These animals were typically found in rainforests, swamps and cloud forests, but unfortunately today these animals have almost completely disappeared in the wild. They are currently listed as critically endangered, and there are thought to be less than 50 of these animals left in the wild. I'd like to say that there's a healthy captive breeding population, but unfortunately this is not the case, as there have only been a few births in the past 15 years. These animals once had a much larger range, but today there are only a few fragmented populations across Sumatra and Borneo. One of the main factors behind this animal's decline is poaching, as their horns and body parts are sold on the black market. From the early 1990s, the population decline was estimated at more than 50% per decade, and now the remaining populations are at high risk of inbreeding depression. There are currently many ongoing conservation efforts to try and save this species, but if nothing drastic is done, they will eventually disappear. The Sumatran rhino is not only one of the rarest rhinos in the world as it's also the smallest, as it stands at around 1.45 meters at the shoulder, and they can reach a maximum weight of around a ton. At this size, they are by far the smallest rhino in the world, and hopefully something can be done to save them in the future. The next rhino species we will be taking a look at is the Javan rhinoceros. The Javan rhinoceros is also known as the lesser one-horned rhinoceros, and it's another extremely rare species of rhino. They look very similar in appearance to the Indian rhinoceros, and both of these animals have plate-like armoured skin. These animals are typically found in dense forests and marshy areas, but once again it's very unlikely that you'll see one of these animals in the wild. They are currently listed as critically endangered, and there are only thought to be around 76 of these animals left in the wild. They were once found over large areas of Southeast Asia, but today they are only found in one national park in Java. In the 17 and 1800s they were hunted for sport by the Europeans, but in more recent times they have been poached for their horns. These horns are highly valued in traditional Chinese medicine, and they can go for as much as $30,000 per kilogram on the black market. Of course these horns have no medicinal properties as they are essentially made of keratin, but tragically the demand still remains high. Poaching was the main reason why these animals were wiped out in Vietnam, but hopefully we can learn from our mistakes and help this animal to bounce back in Indonesia. The Javan rhinoceros is a lot larger than the Sumatran rhinoceros, as it can stand at around 1.7 meters at the shoulder, and it can reach a maximum weight of around 2.3 tons. This size means that it's the second largest animal in Indonesia, but it's still only fit for number 4. For our next rhino species, we will be heading over to Africa, as we will be taking a look at the black rhinoceros. Now as I'm sure many of you are aware, even though this animal is called the black rhino, it is actually a grey colour. They do like to wallow in dark mud so they can appear black, but I'm sure many people will agree that it has quite a misleading name. Today the black rhino is mostly found in Central and South Africa, and across its range it has a few subspecies. These animals tend to have a pointed lip, and this gives us a clue as to what they feed on. Unlike some other rhinos that feed on grasses, black rhinos mostly feed from trees, bushes and shrubs. Their pointed lips help them to grasp and pluck food, and by feeding in this way they do not directly compete with the white rhinos. Black rhinos have much larger horns than the previous two species, and because of this, just like all other rhinos around the world, they have been affected by poaching. At the turn of the 20th century, the black rhino was the most numerous of all rhino species, and around the year 1900 there were probably around several hundred thousand of them. 
During the latter half of the 20th century, their numbers were severely reduced, and there were only around 70,000 left. During the early 1990s, their numbers dipped below 2,500 individuals, but thankfully today they have made a bit of a comeback. There are around 6,500 black rhinos alive today, and their population is slowly increasing. This animal is a true giant, but it's nowhere near the largest rhino in the world, as it can stand at around 1.8 meters at the shoulder, and it can weigh in at 2.9 tons. This means that the black rhino is the second largest rhino in Africa, but it's still only fit for number three on this list. For our next species, we will be heading over to the Indian subcontinent, as we will be taking a look at the Indian rhinoceros. This species is also known as the Greater One-Horned Rhinoceros, and it's one of Asia's largest and most iconic animals. This giant rhino once had a much larger range, but today it's only found in a few protected areas. These animals prefer to live in areas of grasslands and wetlands, and they are perfectly adapted to these habitats. The Indian rhino is a surprisingly good swimmer, and it likes to spend a lot of its time in the water. It's found in the same ecosystem as many large dangerous predators, but thankfully due down to its size, these animals are not a threat to the Indian rhino. Some predators are able to take down their young, and in March 2017, a group of four tigers was able to take down a 20-year-old male Indian rhinoceros. Cases such as this are extremely rare, and for the most part these animals have no natural predators. Even though these animals are listed as vulnerable today, at one point in time it was a lot worse. At the start of the 20th century there were only around 200 of these animals left, but thankfully they were part of one of Asia's greatest conservation success stories. Strict management and protections were put in place, and today there are around 4,000 of these animals in the wild. Hopefully we can help the other rhino species to bounce back in this way, as this animal's story really is inspiring. This rhino is the second largest animal in Asia and it's the second largest rhino in the world, as it stands at around 1.9 meters at the shoulder, and it can reach a maximum weight of around 3 tons. This means that the Indian rhino is only slightly larger than the black rhino, but there's still one more rhino on the list. The white rhino is the largest rhino in the world, and it's the second largest land mammal. Their name actually comes from an Afrikaans word meaning wide, and this refers to their wide mouths. This mouth is made for grazing, and their diet is almost entirely made up of grasses. This rhino has two distinct populations, the northern white rhinoceros and the southern white rhinoceros. The northern subspecies is functionally extinct, as there are only two of these animals left and they are both female. Once again, their decline was due down to poaching, but thankfully the southern white rhinoceros is found in much larger numbers. There are an estimated 16,800 of these animals left in the wild, and thankfully this number is slowly increasing. The white rhino is by far the largest rhino in the world, as they can stand at around 2 meters at the shoulder, and they have a maximum verified weight of 3.6 tons. This means that the white rhino truly is the king of rhinos, and at this size no predator can take them down. If you'd like me to do a similar video on another group of animals then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye.